Think big, but start small. Some goals have to be broken down into small pieces to be achievable. Hey, this is John Suttle of Successful Farrier, and I want to tell you of a strategy that's helped me consistently meet my income goals throughout my career. Let's take $200,000 in annual income that you want. Well, that's kind of a difficult concept to wrap your mind around, unless you break it down into some pieces. I'm like, how many days do you want to work this year? And how much do you need to earn each day in order to meet that goal? And what would each day look like? So with that in mind, let's dive in a little bit. So let's say I want to work 20 days each month. That comes out to 240 days a year. And that means that I can take 240 and divide it into 200,000 to find out how much I need to earn each day to reach this 200,000. So what will it take to earn $833.33? How many horses? How many horses can I do consistently? And is this a reasonable goal or do I need to adjust it? So I find out what it is that I want to do to meet this goal. And then I go about setting it up. I can either add clients and horses, or I can raise my prices, one or the other. Once I know that, it's time to start tracking this to see and uh, to chart my progress. And if I get blown off course to make adjustments so that I do at the end of the year end up where I intend to. So the way I do that is I get another calendar and each workday I enter in the amount I earned. And if it was a good day, if it was like a great day where I easily earned the income I wanted and I had energy left, I mark it green. If it was a day that I struggled on, where I was tired, where I drove too much, where it was too hard to earn the income, I mark it in red. Then I go on to the end of the month and at the end of the month I add up all of my work days and I total them. And I add up all of the income I earned and I total it. And then I find the average to give me the average amount of income I earned per day during that month. Now I know, do I need to adjust things or am I on track? And I use my green and red days to plan my next schedule because I don't want to repeat the red days. I, I want to eliminate those. I want to adjust my schedule to where I don't have those days that take that wear on me. And I do want to put together days where they're exceptional, the green days. I want to plan more of those. It helps me guide my business so that I can build a business that's really working well for me of horses I enjoy, of clients I enjoy, of a kind of schedule that really works because that's my thriving environment. So I, what I, my goal is, is to have a whole calendar full of green days. So if you want to make your business uh, one where you can consistently reach the goals that you want, where you can make the income that you want, where you can kind of project your income and reach it and, and say, hey, next year I want to make 250,000 and the year after that I want to make 300,000 and I want to have this kind of client and I don't like those kind of clients. This is a great way to go about it. This can take your business from that beginning stage where it's a little bit difficult having the kind of clientele you want and the income you want to where you have a thriving business that you really enjoy working in that earns the income that you want, provides for your business and it provides for you. But when you're setting it up, remember, you want a business where the horse wins, where the client wins, where the business wins, and most of all, where you win. That's the goal. So leave your comments below, ask any questions you have, and I'll see you on the other side.